Welcome back to the channel. This is Abdullah Galal from Galal Academy. And today we have another interesting error in SAP s So this error applies to both SAP s and SAP ECC. And it is one of the basic errors that we get when we do not configure the account determination for materials management or for inventory management in the right way. So let me give you the context here. Now I'm trying to post a goods receipt for an initial stock balance upload. So we just started using the system for example or this is a migration project and I'm trying to upload the stock balances. The reason I do this movement in my testing system is whenever I want some stock. So now for example I want to test a sales process but I need stock of a material so I can sell it and I don't want to go through the whole production or procurement process. So the easiest way is just to post an initial stock balance upload. This is movement type 561 and this is all a standard process. So now I went to transaction in my IGO, I inserted the good receipt, other, the movement type 561, I inserted the material code, the storage location, the plant, and then clicked on OK and inserted the quantity. Then I clicked on post. And when I did so, I got this error. So account determination for entry AG00. Let me show you the long text. So this is the long text of the error. Now, if you have already watched the material management account determination playlist on the channel, then you should understand very well how to handle this issue. I have explained all the details related to account determination, including all the details that can help you understand this message and configure everything from A to Z. But let's just handle this error message now. So the first thing you need to do is to understand what are these values. And by the way, this is one of the best error messages that we get in SAP. It is very self-explanatory and it even gives you all the details you need in order to correct the error. So what we have here, the first thing is AG00 and this is our chart of accounts. So now you already understand that it is an account determination error, right? It said account determination. So it means that SAP is not able to determine the GL account that would be used in the posting. And because this is a stock movement transaction, which means it will increase my stock or decrease it, but this one will increase our stock. When it increases our stock, there must be an accounting entry and the SAP is not able to determine the account. So the first thing SAP gives us is the chart of accounts. So this is our chart of accounts. If you are a financial accountant or someone who is in accounting, you already understand what this is. If you are not, then this is like the book of all the accounts that we have. So this is our chart of accounts that we assign to a company code. So first it gives you the chart of accounts. And then we have GBB. And this is the transaction key that we need to maintain in configuration. And I will show you this in a minute. Then we have the valuation grouping code. And I also show you this. So this is something that we assign to our plant. And then we use it in the account determination configuration. And then we have BSA. So BSA is the account modifier. And this is something also that we use in the account determination transaction. And then we have the valuation class 7900 and this one is coming from the material master data. Okay, so now the first thing we do is to check the valuation class. So let's do this. Maybe, maybe the material has a wrong valuation class and it happens sometimes. So this would be a master data issue. So first let me open another transaction. So now I will go to the material master data MM03. And let's look into this material. So now I'm trying to post this transaction in plant FR10. So let's go here. And then I will go to the accounting view. So here we have our valuation class. And this is 7900. So what you need to do is first understand what this material and then see if this is the correct material class. The, the correct valuation class. In my case, it is the correct valuation class. But this is the first value we get in our error. So if we go back to the error, so this is the 7900. Now we also have AG00, GBB001 and so on. So what I will do now is I'm going to switch to configuration and show you where to find all of these. So slash n SPRO. So now the objective that we need to do is to assign the correct GL account to the details that SAP has given us. And to do this, we need to understand what's happening behind the account determination. So let's go here to material management. And then we have invent valuation and account assignment. And then we go to account determination and account determination without wizard. First, we have group together valuation areas. So this will give us the valuation grouping code 0001. So let me show you. So if we go here, we have our valuation areas, company code, and then we have valuation grouping code. 
The valuation area, when we talk in the context of account determination uh, in finance, is our plant. So this is not something that we create, this is exactly the plant. So the plant in the context of account determination is called evaluation area. So now we have here our plant, and then we assign it to evaluation grouping code. So our plant is FR10. And as you see here, so this is the plant, this is the company code, and then we have the chart account. So here is AG00 that we found in the message, and it is assigned to valuation grouping code 0001. The reason we use it is to group together multiple plants under the same account determination configuration. So for example, if I configure different accounts for different transactions, like different stock movement transactions, and then I want all of these plants to use this same configuration. I don't want to redo the configuration for every plant. Then in this case, I can assign the valuation grouping code to all the plants that I want. And I configure the account determination on the valuation grouping code. So this way I do the configuration once and it can work for, for different plants. So this is the first, this is the second thing we have. So if we switch back to the error, so we have here AG00, we just saw it. So this is the chart of accounts. And as you see, it's here. And as you see, it comes by default. You cannot change it because this is assigned to the company code. So here is just for information. So this is our chart of accounts. And then we have, so GBB, we have not seen it yet. So let's leave this for now. So we have 0001. So this is the valuation grouping code. And then we have the valuation class, 7,900. So now you know this also. Now, in case you see this error, and sometimes it happens, you see this error and there is a missing there is a missing space here. So there is a missing word here. So for example, you find a space, but you do not find any number. So you do not find the valuation grouping code or you cannot find the valuation class and it will be visible in the message. You will find that there is a space where something should go in, but there's nothing. So sometimes you will see the same message, but here there, it's empty. There's a space, there's nothing. It means that the assignment is missing. So in case, for example, you see this message and you cannot see anything after the transaction key, it means the valuation class may be missing in the material master data. So you should go to the material master data and maintain it. Or if you go to the transaction and then you find GBB and then here you find a space, it means that the valuation grouping code is missing. So you need to assign it and so on. So the message will always have the same structure. If there is a space missing, it means there is something that's not assigned. So now we understand this, let's go back to our configuration. Now I'll switch back to the configuration and there's also one more thing just in order to have a complete video and I have explained all of this in detail in the material management account determination playlist. So if you'd like to understand it from A to Z, you should check the playlist, but I'll just add this here for completeness. So now if I go back, in some cases we don't have the valuation grouping code, which means that we we are not using it in our system. And this is very rare because most of the time we would use it because we can group together multiple plants under the same configuration, which is a good thing. But in case you cannot find valuation grouping codes active in your system, this is from this uh, configuration transaction, define valuation control. So if you go here, and this is on the, plan, on the client level, you say here that valuation grouping code is active or valuation grouping code is not active. If it's not active, then each plant will have its own account determination configuration and we cannot group them together. If it is active, then we need to assign each plant to evaluation grouping code. So now let's go back. And the last step is to configure the automatic postings. So this is where we insert the GL accounts. So you go to this transaction and this is the famous OBYC transaction that most of us use in order to maintain the account determination directly. So this is where you can find it. And it also has another transaction code, which is OMWB. So once you get in here, you can find some warning messages like this one. And this is normal in a testing system. So you can just click on cancel and you can proceed. So now from here, I can go to account assignment or I can go to simulation. So if you go to simulation, you can easily simulate the different account determination without having to do a transaction. But let's skip this for now. I showed all of this in the playlist. So now let's go to account assignment and maintain or assign our account. So once you get here, you see we have different transactions. Now the transaction is given to us in the error message. This is why this is a great error message, okay? So you see here, we have GBB. So this is the transaction that we need to look for. And then inside we have another one, which is BSA. So first we look for GBB. Sometimes you would only have one like GB, like PRD, for example. So anyway, you look here for the key that you have in the message. So let's go down 
and here we have GPP of setting entry for inventory posting. So double click on this. And the first question we get is what is your chart of accounts? And this is also we have something we have in the error message, which is AG00. So this is our chart and then you click on OK. And here we have valuation grouping code, which is called also valuation modification. So we know now that our plant is assigned to 0001. And again, this is also in the message. Then we have general modification. And this is the second key we have in the message. So if you go here, you can see BSA. So this is what I'm going to insert. So BSA. And then we have the valuation class, again, in the error message that's coming from the material master data. So you put it here, 7900. So you see everything you need in order to maintain the account determination is shown in the message. 0001 BSA 7900. And then here we assign a GL account. Now this is this can be the complex part because this is where we, we need our business process knowledge and our accounting knowledge. But this is something that should be provided by the financial accounting consultant who in turn will take the data from the accountants in the company. So this is a business input. What is the GL account that we should post to when we post an initial stock balance up update or initial stock balance upload. So here I'm going to copy the entry that I have in this line. So just let's put this GL account. So again, the, the GL account you need to use here is a GL, it, it depends on each transaction that we do. So uh, initial stock uh, upload is different from good receipt for order, is different from good receipt for another reason, and is different from goods issue and so on. So the GL accounts is something that should be provided based on business knowledge and accounting knowledge. So this is the GL account I'm going to use for now. Save the transaction. And then now we have maintained our account determination for this transaction. Let's switch back to our stock movement transaction here. And again, I'm trying, to, I will try to check. So now we no longer have the error and we can post the transaction. So this is how you can handle the account determination error that you get whenever you are posting any inventory, uh, any inventory movement. So this can happen in goods issue, in good receipt, fiscal count, any transaction that causes inventory movements that will result in turn in accounting postings, you can get an error like this one. I hope it was easy to understand. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course, and also check the channel membership program if you would like to get access to member exclusive benefits. And you can also request access to this SAP S4HANA testing system from my website. You can find the link in the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.